Good afternoon, this is Neil Spate, Zurich Nub News. Down at, as those of you who follow my broadcast, one of my favourite uh, venues, the uh, Perfleet Heritage Military Centre. Uh, and I'm here to show the, I'm just showing you the notice for the Thurrock Reuse Project, or supporting uh, the centre in one of its latest projects, which is the creation of a, a historic family room. And uh, we've got a team of people here this morning who've been having a tour uh, from Trump and obviously from the centre itself. And this young gentleman here, so, so uh, oh, you're going to pull, yeah, you go on, yeah, go on, yeah, so you are, sir, go on. Yeah, it's Paul, Paul Hansel, I've been a volunteer here for about three years now. Uh, we're trying to type of make ourselves a centre for community and all of the local education. Trying to type of relay the history of the place, uh, at the building itself, and not only just the building, but Second World War, First World War. Keep, we are trying to get much involved with the schools, doing the key stage, trying to type of work with them so we can type of cover their educational needs for the future. And this is obviously... And, and what exactly are we doing with this little room? And I'll, I'll just pan away. <coughs> just, uh, yeah. the, uh, I'm sure a lot of people probably will remember something similar from their childhoods. Yeah, it, it, this was a project that we took on in terms of right, World War II, evacuees, and the day the war broke out. So we've tried to recreate a room from 1939 with a, with a working radiogram over there, which will type of give key speeches from the time from Neville Chamberlain, from the Queen, uh, through to Winston Churchill about the day war broke out and the impact. And we see over there, we've got one little girl who's just about to be type of put out for evacuating. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. And, and we're just trying to, you sir, you are? Just I'm Tony Benson. Hello, Tony. I'm one of the trustees of uh, TRUP, the reuse partnership. Yeah. It's uh, based at the old barter site in East Tilbury. Um, our involvement is so much that uh, we, get um, donated furniture from us. And there are times when some of the furniture is, shall we say, a little bit dated from the 1930s and 1940s, which is appropriate for the period that they've set up here. And the problem is that people don't really want that furniture. So rather than fry it away or even burn it, which is absolute criminal. So we found an absolute perfect sample of where we can donate it and make use of it. And they're pleased to receive it and we're pleased to give it. So if you do have furniture, which is of this nature, we're happy to, act, happy to act as their agent and take on and pass it on to them. Fantastic. But other things, we're always there for reuse. So if you do need furniture and you are down on your luck, we are happy to supply it to you. We can supply it. If you don't mind me advertising here. No. no. We've got white goods, well, we'll, we'll which is, comes on a regular basis. A view of okay, we get... Uh, sofas, we can supply beds, and we've got local department stores, we'll actually get damaged goods, and even things like that, it's got mark where it's been in store, and we can sell it to a, a reasonable price. We get paint as well, which can help you out. It's not always the great colours you want, which you go into the supermarkets or B&Q, but it's there, and it's much, much cheaper. We help people, I mean, for everyone, who comes in. I mean, some people would like to just recycle. We help you to recycle. If you want to take an old piece of furniture, and our place of IKEA, we can supply you with the paint, the undercoat, to give it a whole new release of life. Fantastic. So, I'm sorry to bore you, but no, that's no, I'm sure. I'm sure there are people who don't I'm, know what you do. I'm happy it's... to sell truck every day. Well, we'll put all the appropriate links on the story associated with this film. We'll also, for those people who don't know, we'll let them know about the the Perfleet Heritage and Military Centre, which really is, and I say it many, many times every time, one of Thurrock's hidden gems. This is a really great part of the, the local community coming together. I'm happy to share it with you and uh, maybe it'd be just nice if, if you've got nothing else to do on a Thursday or a Sunday, um, pop down here and have a look for yourself because I promise you once you come once, you'll come back again. Wednesday as well. <laughs> <laughs> you see there, I was reminded, you see, I was, I'd forgotten that you'd start opening on Wednesday, so it's a, it's a good job you shouted on me, older and I hadn't switched the broadcast off. There you go. So Wednesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, get yourself down here. Thanks to everybody for inviting me along this morning. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>